So, Dad, can we take you know who out to see you know what? What? <clears throat> what? What? I was hoping to spring the surprise on him myself. Who? Who? The little owl. <laughs> <laughs> she means you, Jake. Come on, there's something I want to show you. Cool! Isn't she a beaut? <coughs> Whoa, it's kind of dirty. It's been up in the rafters a few years. <laughs> I guess no one ever dusts up there. Did you make it? No, your Zadie and his father did. And she's been first over the finish line in every race since. <gasps> Let me show you. Look, I made a shrine to honor our family's winning spirit. <gasps> Whoa! Even Daniel and Marfa raced. Raced and won. It's sort of a family tradition. There's me. Cool. Yep, winning the Mount Royal Soapbox Derby was one of my proudest moments. You know, you're old enough to enter this year, but you're probably not interested. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Well then, let's clean it up and take her out for a test run. I'll grab a bucket and a sponge. <laughs> Better not lose that race, Twerp. The whole family's counting on you. Yeah, but no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> The whole family? Then I can't lose. I can't. <laughs> Mount Royal is perfect for a soapbox race. Huh, Dad? Yeah, I just wish it didn't get steeper every year. Phew. Hey, look, guys. It's Jacob Doodoo and his dad dad. If you're looking for the city dump, it's that way. <laughs> <laughs> My Zadie built this cart. Yeah, it does look like a hand-me-down. Say, how about a little practice race, boys? A race? Okay. Who's ever last past those straw bales is the big loser. <laughs> <laughs> Do you really think we win against that? <laughs> Don't worry. Get in touch with the family's winning spirit. That and wear a helmet. It pays to protect the old bean. Your chariot awaits. Hmm. On your marks, go! Hey! <laughs> huh? What the? Nice going, sport. We'd better head over and sign you up for the race. No oh, way. What a ripoff. Oh, See you at the finish line, boys. We can't let that twerp Tutu beat us again. Oh, don't worry. Tutu's going down. Ah, this rear axle span is clearly a millimeter too wide. I cannot approve the short box until it conforms to specifications. For only a millimeter? With all due respect, that seems a bit strict, Mr. Uh, strict. The name is Strict. Und I go strictly by the book. No problem, Mr. Strict. I'll take care of it right away. Don't want to break any rules, eh, sport? I'll say. Hmm. Nice wheels, Rene. Merci. I think I have a very good chance of winning, no? Good chance of winning second? A wimpiest looking cart, that is. And Jacob Poop, who's gonna take first? <laughs> wimpiest. <laughs> I bet my cart can beat your cart. All right, Rattel, you're on. I beat Wilson once already. You'll take him no sweat. Just watch out for the quick start. On your mark. Go! Go! Yay, go! Whoa! Ha <laughs> 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 what a 
I tell ya? Oh yeah, did I mention the loser pushes my cart back up the hill? <laughs> He took off like a jackrabbit. Hmm. They're up to something, Renee. Hey, why has he got a hole in the floor? To stick his feet through. He's rolling and running. Wilson can't run that fast. Hmm. What do we have here? Aha! I knew it! <gasps> so he did cheat! Yup, he just squeezed the trigger reached through that hole in the floor and... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, are you gonna take all day to push my cart up here or what? <laughs> I will not push it anywhere for a cheater! <laughs> yep, she'll have it up there in a minute. Jake, why not tell him that we know he is cheating? Because if he knows that we know, he'll hide the evidence. Ah. No way! Where'd it go? I can't figure it out. Perhaps you're looking for this? Hey, you found it. Gee, thanks. Any cart powered by a propulsion device will be disqualified. Huh? Propulsion device? It's a power polisher. I made it myself. Pretty slick, huh? There is nothing in the rules about being a big tattletale. Yet. Do it again, and you will be disqualified. Come here, doo doo. I was just trying to make it a fair race. A fair race. Don't have a cow, Moo Moo. I just wanted to say thanks. Thanks? Thanks? Yeah. Because now I can use this without worrying about Air Sourpuss suspecting a thing. Think about that while you're eating my dust. <laughs> Great. Now that Wilson can cheat as much as he wants, and what can I do about it? Nothing. Too bad he can't cheat too, huh? I hadn't thought of that. Is it okay to cheat if you're cheating to beat a cheater? I didn't see it in the rule book. Maybe we should ask Mr. Strict. Oh, yeah, that'll make his day. Cheer up, Jacob. How bad can it be if you don't win the race? How bad? How bad? Only that I'll be the first loser in the whole history of my family. They'll probably disown me. Don't worry. If worse comes to worse, you can always live at my house. Mm. Wait till you try my mom's cabbage sardine casserole. Mm-mm. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Squirt. Here you're gonna win the big race. But what if I don't win? Uh, somebody else does? <sighs> Thanks for the helpful advice. Whoa, lighten up. Didn't Dad tell you about the family's winning spirit? Yes, but... Or how fun it is to race, and how sweet that old soapbox handles, and how no one who's raced down that hill has ever lost, ever! Did you ever worry about losing? Once, I guess, when another guy tried to ram me off the track. <gasps> That's cheating! So did you ram him right back? No way, I stayed cool, kept my head. But the key is to keep your head down. Lowers wind resistance. Ha! Left him in the dust! You're right. Cheaters never prosper. But they might still win. They might? They might? Sure, if they're really good at cheating. You need to have a trick up your sleeve, like I did. A trick? Yeah. You're right. Just cheat a little to make things fair. What are you talking about? Who said anything about cheating? You did. You said you had a trick up your sleeve. Yeah. There's no rule against using a mirror. It's like having eyes in the back of your head. The competition can't get in front of you if they can't get around you. So, what were you two saying about cheating? Uh, nothing, nothing. I didn't say anything about cheating. Bye. <sighs> Those guys were no help. 
checkmate. Ha <laughs> ha, I won. You cheated. Yeah, like you didn't. Hey, Pipsqueak, want to play? No way. You're a big fat cheater. What's wrong with cheating? Yeah, it's probably the only way you'll win this soapbox race. Who said I'm going to cheat? I never said I'm going to cheat. Besides, what do you big shots know about winning anyway? Only that we did. That's because Zadie taught us to hug the curb. Especially the last one. And lean hard into that first sharp turn. Scree! Those big fat know-it-alls don't know everything. If they think I have to cheat to win, I'll do the opposite, even if it means losing. Hmm. Ah, there you are, Jake. I've got something to show you. I took the liberty of clearing a spot for your photo and trophy. All you have to do now is win. Mmm, mm. good old Granny. She makes the best onion chip cookies you've ever tasted. Buford! <sighs> I can't disappoint that. If Wilson's gonna cheat, so will I. Now for the big question. What can we use to soup up my soapbox? <gasps> I've got it! What? What? Three words. The world's biggest slingshot. Well, four words, if you count the the. <sighs> Hello there, boys. Hi, Mr. Dinglebat. What's all this? Oh, just doing some spring cleaning, Jacob. Even we master spies must do our part to recycle, you know. <laughs> wow. So this is old spy stuff? Mostly. Whoa! I'll bet this is a cleverly disguised top secret communication device, huh? No, it's just an empty bottle. <gasps> cool! <sighs> hey, I always wanted one of these miniature fans. Au contraire, mon ami. This turbo fan is a powerful propulsion device meant to launch spies such as moi out of perilous situations. In a hot spot, simply pull out your fan Point it prop down. Very important. Then hang on tight and hit the switch. <gasps> Click again to stop it. And deploy your standard issue wristwatch parachute. Cool! So why throw it out? Too many accidents, I'm afraid. Say you're on a mission in Morocco. Your room's as hot as an oven, and the air conditioner is on the blink. Without thinking, you reach for relief and whoosh, splat! Mission over. So, out it goes. And in I go. My inner sanctum needs some serious dusting. See ya! Hey! Maybe Mr. Dingleback can help us soup up your soapbox. Good idea, Buford. But I think he already has. Uh, maybe you should borrow Mr. Dingleback's parachute wristwatch before you test this, Jacob. I won't be flying up. I'll be in fast forward. Well, if it isn't Jacob Poo Poo. Check out that wimpy fan he's got. What's the matter? Feeling the heat? Nope, I'm feeling fine. Watch this. Okay, Buford. I don't believe it. He's gonna cheat. Boo Boo wants to cheat. I'll show him cheating. Bonjour, Jake. Buford. Hi. Hi. It is too bad today's race cannot be a fair one, no? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we'll just have to do the best we can. Wait, what else can we do? 
Good luck, Jake. Mais, uh, not too much luck. Uh, right. Thanks, Renee. You too. What do you have behind you? Nothing. Hey, there's our champ over there. See you after the race, Renee. Oui. Au revoir, Jake. Just came by to wish you good luck. Are you ready to roll? I guess. I just hope I don't let the family down, especially you. I can't imagine how you could. Really? Of course. It doesn't matter if you win or lose, Jake, as long as you play by the rules and do your best. See you at the finish line, sport. Okay. Thanks. So, you still want to use that turbo fan, Jacob? No, I'm not going to use it. If I have to lose, I'm going to lose fair and square. Whoa. Buford, have you seen... Hey, Boo-Boo. Let's see how you do without this. <laughs> how sneaky can you get? Oh, well. Now he has twice the cheating power. Attention, everyone! Due to unfortunate last-minute malfunction, cuts 22 and 46 are the only ones eligible to race. Oh. <laughs> Wilson! What? <laughs> Those remaining cuts, please take their places at the starting line. <sighs> okay, Buford. Time to lose unfair and square. Don't worry. Get in touch with the family's winning spirit. Right. I shouldn't give up yet. Whoa, lighten up. Didn't Dad tell you about the family's winning spirit? Yeah. And how sweet that old soapbox handles? It does handle sweet. Wake up, G4. Time to lose. Huh? You know the drill. I zoom ahead, you eat my dust. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be so sure, Wilson. <sighs> Race us on your box. Get set. Go! And lean hard into that first sharp turn. There's no rule against using a mirror. It's like having eyes in the back of your head. The competition can't get in front of you if they can't get around you. Good tip, Martha. Um, wants to be a roadhog, does he? Oh no, I'm not gonna make it. Get in touch with the family's winning spirit. All right. <sighs> Dead batteries? Oh, no way. Oh, missed him. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Cheaters never prosper, Wilson! Oh, yeah? Just watch me. What the? Oh! <gasps> <gasps> oh, bro, yeah! You did it! You did it! You did it! First place! Way to go, Squirt! Yep, you did us proud, Sport. Thanks, Dad. It helped out the family's winning spirit behind me. So what happened to Wilson anyway? Here he comes. He's fighting for second place. Whoa! Oh, no! Whoa! Ah! Cheater, but he sure knows how to entertain a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> this year's winner of the Mont Royal Soapbox Derby is Jacob Tutu. Yeah!
Thanks, thanks. You see, Squirt? I told you you'd win. And you're young enough to race a few more years yet. If you want to, that is. You bet. You bet. <laughs> and then I guess we'll have to retire the old gal. <laughs> At least until the grandkids are ready to race. Grandkids? Ew. What'd I say? What'd I say? <sighs> <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,